So if you've been in this hobby for some time now, you have had piss problems. When I'm talking about piss problems, I'm talking about flat worms, fire worms, bristle worms, any type of piss like that. They can be very annoying and they can cause a havoc on your reef tank. These things can even make you lose hope in your reef tank. But if you implement the fish that I'm about to tell you in this video to implement to your reef tank, this guy will go into your reef tank and destroy any intimate threat to your reef tank. He is the ultimate hunter. What's up y'all, this is your boy RBR. If you're new here, this is my channel where I talk about everything reef tank related. If that's your type of thing, make sure you subscribe and like, because it really helps your boy out. Let's get it. Now let's talk about that ultimate predator so the fish i'm talking about is the clownfish boy if you don't get nah, i'm just playing i'm just playing <laughs> now nah, the fish i'm talking about is the six line rats yo the six line rats man hey this guy goes after them dudes man flat worms every every little small piss he can get his mouth on he's gonna he's gonna take them out a lot of folks don't like adding them because they can be kind of aggressive so I wouldn't put them in a tank full of, you know, peaceful fish. I put them in a tank with, you know, fish that's gonna actually protect theirself. Once he snipped at my clownfish once, my clownfish, he kind of, you know, tail whipped on and he, he, he learned his lesson since then. Like, he, he doesn't even bother my clownfish or any other fish in my tank. Honestly, the firefish, he won't even mess with the firefish. Like, the fire, my firefish, man, everybody else's firefish might be peaceful. My firefish, man, he's kind of aggressive. He's not scared of anything. So I got a firefish, my yellow watchman, and my clownfish. It, he doesn't bother any of those anymore. He tried, you know, he tried to test them, but once he found out like these fish, like, yo, these fish ain't playing no games, man. He gave up on that and just started doing his job. So I had this guy for like three months now and I, and I enjoyed every little bit of him. I like his color. He has a nice little red, pink, blue, and silver bottom on him and his tail is green. So it actually throws a little more color in your reef tank. And you know, he does his job. That's why I like him. That's why I like him. They actually come from the Indo-Pacific area, so they shouldn't be too hard to find. I'm pretty sure you can find them at any local fish store or, you know, order them online. They're, they, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, the main reason I got the six line rats is because I couldn't find a uh, possum rats or a, uh, what's other rats called? Pink street rats. So I went with the six line. Six line, they, they don't get too big. They probably get the same size as a clownfish. I went with him and he's, I mean, Everything, everything's going well in my tank. Uh, he, he definitely cleared out a lot of the flat worms. Only flat worms that he can't really get to are the ones at the back of the tank, which I mean, hey, ain't like he can go from between the back tank to the front tank, so that's understandable. Uh, but the flat worms, man, he, he's, he's been taking them out, doing his thing. I mean, he hunting them, man. He's very vicious with it when it comes to them flat worms or any other type of thing, like uh, copa pies. So yeah, he will eat your cocoa pies. You just have to keep your cocoa pies, you know, in a steady population because he hunts those. A lot of folks wouldn't put them in a nano tank, but they, they actually stay kind of small. So I feel like they, they work well in the nano tanks. As, as you can see, mine's is kind of shy. He, he, he swims around, pick at a couple of rocks and he dips out. Like he, he doesn't, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure there's horror stories out there of the six line rats killing everything in the tank. But so far mine's been pretty chill. I don't know how you can pick a chill one from an aggressive one, but the main thing I did when I went to the fish store was I saw a guy that was, you know, saw saw this guy right here that was very active and like he was doing his job in, you know, the fish, you know, the local fish store tank. And I was like, man, I'm pretty sure he do, he'll do a great job in my tank too, as well. You know, I rolled the dice and I decided to pick him up. And hey, man, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the little guy. So if you think, you know, you was thinking about finding something to kill your flat worms or, you know, pissing your tank. He was, he was afraid to get a six line rats or hey this is the video that you know i'll let you know six line rats do work but i'm not gonna say all of them work because like i said some of them are very aggressive i mean rats in general are aggressive species so hey do your research hey put them with somebody you know put them with fish that actually you know not gonna just sit there and take a beat and you know everything will be fine but let me know down in the comments down below if you ever had you know a six line rats and let me know the experience you had with your six line rats i i love to hear y'all answers hey also make sure you like and subscribe because like i said it helps your boy out it helps get this channel out there and y'all be safe out there keep reefing